Hello and welcome to another mini tutorial. I'm going to show you something really, really neat. If I can get it back. Okay, there we go. Alright, as you can see, this is a continuation from the last tutorial. We're in the same little place. What I want to show you is... First, I'm going to show you that there is nothing in the inventory. I hate those noises. And we're going to make it so that a bridge appears here. Oop. Let's see. Now the switch is on the other side, and we now have a bridge here. Go across. Oh, I forgot. Ooh, neat. Okay, I was hoping it would look like that. Now we've got a door over here, and we'll get to that later. But now we're going to take a bottle. So now we've got a bottle. Oh, yeah. We got a bottle. As you can see, this switch no longer works now because we only needed it once. And we've got a bottle. And as you can see, we've got the bottle. Oh, yes. Let's see. I believe I already covered the get it gaining an item in another tutorial, but I wanted to add it in here so it would make this one a little bit longer. So let's see. Thanks. And I'm going to save it again so I don't have to redo all this. Okay, next tutorial. I'm going to X out of this. Now, as you can see, I've got an extra map, which is just this one, only it's got the bridge here. What I did is I made this as an action button event. I gave it the uh, switch graphic. I had it play the equip sound. I faded out the screen and then had it transfer the player to the second map. And then I had it fade in, because if you forget to fade in, you'll not be able to see what the heck you're doing. <laughs> And then you can just move on down here. And these are just so you can transfer from one map area to the next, which is just transfer player, whichever map. And if you want it to be smooth, it ought to be player touch. I forgot to do that. <laughs> Good. Fix that right now. Are you player touch? Yes, you are. Okay, never mind you. Whoop, that's a spoiler. Ah. Okay, now, now that you know what that is, because then it creates the illusion that it fades out and then the bridge is just suddenly there, which is really, really nice. You could also add the sound effect. Uh, oh, wrong map! Let's see, we could... Insert, let's see, play sound effect. Do you want it to be a uh, little something else? Let's see. Uh, do we have a shove? No. no. Yeah, that's so creepy. Oh lord, no. Hmm. Nah. Maybe not. Who's... No. Well, that's odd. There was one that would be nice for that, but I guess I don't got it here. Sad face. Oh well. Adding an extra sound so it sounds like the bridge is actually coming into place is just a little add on you can do. Like, a, it's a neat little thing. I haven't added it because I can't find the right sound because I'm picky. But yeah, now moving on to the items. You can have a text to have your character say what it is and collect it. Oh dang it. Mm -hmm. Space bar and you see the item. And it's just a bottle and you increase it by one and have it remain a constant. 
this will add one just one to the inventory and then control self switch A on so that it doesn't you can't do it again as for changing the items wrong button area you need to get the items and the items is typically full of the old um, generic sort of RPG stuff potions armor stuff like that and um, you would need to change the maximum I changed it to one just to make my life a little easier and just made it as a bottle and you cannot consume it it doesn't have any scope you can always use it you could also change it from only from the menu but I that's something for another day and then there's it's just a normal item you don't have to have it as a key item or anything okay and that's pretty much that for this part. In the next part, I'm hopefully going to teach you how to do a sort of mock chase scene. I'm still trying to work out how to do it, but I should be teaching you that next. So, see you later, everyone.